A scientist from Japan. Apparently lots of stuff went down when uh, I was unconscious. Stuff that honestly doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. I didn't disappear, they turned into a gloop. What he's talking about in this, uh, the, a similar incident, is uh, the actual book, Parasite Eve. In the book, uh, this scientist's wife was indeed involved in an accident, and uh, she got a transplant, and she started, uh, she got a transplant from another girl who had died, and uh, they transferred, uh, bleh, transplanted this stuff into her, and it took over her body, and uh, she went to give birth to what she called the ultimate being and uh, the uh, Eve g gave birth to the ultimate being and then having expended all her energy died and melted and then uh, the baby ultimate being died as well because Yeah, this is what we're talking about. Uh, the ultimate being was given birth to, but she died because of... Uh, uh, it couldn't decide what gender to be. Uh, the human sperm that it, she had received in, to make the uh, ultimate being was conflicting with the mitochondria, so the baby was spontaneously going from girl to boy, girl to boy, girl to boy, until it died which actually comes into play later when we actually get to the hospital they mention the fact that uh, Eve is there to get special sperm I gotta kinda feel sorry for Aya. She probably feels like a monster at this point. Well, yeah, never mind. She just outright said it. Uh, going to leave her alone for a while. Or he may actually think she's a monster. I don't know. You're not a monster, Aya. Oh. Damn it, stop stealing my lines! I'm guessing this was a squat of some kind. I mean, maybe a, for some reason a squat with uh, electricity, but uh, no heat. I don't know. I really see no sense to have a burning barrel in the middle of the room when you have electricity. Maya. That's her 
twin sister. In case you did not know that. And that is the end of day two. Next time. Day three. In which I do believe we go into the hospital. So. I see you then.